The Islamist militant group, Hamas, launched a surprise attack early October 7, firing thousands of rockets and sending armed fighters into Israel. At least 900 people died, including more than 260 attending a festival near the Gaza border, thousands were wounded and dozens were taken hostage. More than 48 hours after the devastating surprise attack in Israeli territory, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to avenge, saying that the Israeli military would attack Hamas with a force like never before. Israel has then pounded the enclave with airstrikes, killing more than 680 Palestinians. Defense Minister Yov Gallant ordered a complete siege of Gaza and said he would halt the supply of electricity, food, water and fuel to the Palestinian enclave. Hours later, a spokesperson for Hamas armed wing said it would begin killing civilian hostages and broadcasting the act if Israel targets people in Gaza without warning. Under the broadest invasion of Israel in 50 years, Netanyahu has warned of a long and difficult war ahead, he also stated that Israeli forces were moving into an offensive phase, which will continue with neither limitations nor respite until the objectives are achieved. The outbreak of conflict in the Middle East has raised more concerns about the current war in Eastern Europe and a possible war in Asia. The former is between Ukraine and Russia which has lasted 600 days so far, leaving the end time unanswered. The latter is related to the Taiwan Strait situation, many questions have been given to this, for example, will Xi Jinping start a war to invade the island to consolidate power and when, what would happen to the world if Taiwan were invaded? In the past, Mao Zedong launched three wars, including the Korean War in 1950, the Sino-Indian War in 1962 and the Xinbao Island conflict in 1969 to make enemies and divert pressure externally, and to enhance his prestige and consolidate power internally. Tang Hao, a famous U.S. based media professional, believes that Xi Jinping, who admires Mao, may also follow Mao's rules. Besides, she has always had the ambition to take over Taiwan and fulfill the Chinese dream. However, on the one hand, under current conditions, the Chinese government is not strong and powerful enough to win a war in the Taiwan Strait, more importantly, the U.S., Japan and their allies will definitely intervene to help defend Taiwan, which may cost Xi his power. On the other hand, what would happen to the world if China invaded Taiwan successfully? According to Tang Hao, the consequences would be. First, China would occupy the central hub of the first island chain, it would not only dismantle the anti-communist blockade circle of the first island chain, but also could deploy missiles and military aircraft in Taiwan to directly threaten the U.S.'s Guam, Japan, Okinawa and the Philippines. Moreover, China's nuclear submarines could sink directly from eastern Taiwan to the deep sea zone of the Pacific Ocean to avoid U.S. detection, thereby, it could threaten U.S., Canada and Australia with nuclear missiles, in other words, all countries will be subject to China's nuclear weapons restraint. Second, the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea would become China's waters, in this way, Beijing could not only expand its military power and missiles in Taiwan, Dongsha Island and Nansha Taiping Island to block the South China Sea, but also easily cut off the oil transportation of Japan and South Korea and strangle the economic lifeline of the two countries. Third, 50% of the world's freight would not be able to pass through the Taiwan Strait, and 80% of the world's high-end chip supply would also be cut off, at that time, the high-end chips of various countries' industries may be at Beijing's disposal, the high-tech industries of various countries will be adversely impacted, triggering a wave of unemployment and severely damaging the economy, at the same time, they may need to hand over key technologies in exchange for chips with China. Fourth, occupied Taiwan likely means the U.S.'s defeat, China, Russia and their allies would expand their territories, China would rewrite the international order through a so-called community of a shared future for mankind, as they would keep claiming to reap more benefits by enslaving nations. The next would be America withdrawing from the Indo-Pacific region since it failed to protect the security of its allies, Japan, South Korea and other Southeast Asian nations may be forced to cut ties with the U.S. and form relations to China, as a result, China would replace the U.S. as world police. Finally, Countries would develop nuclear weapons to protect themselves and increase the risk of war, if China succeeded in occupying Taiwan, countries in East Asia would most likely have to join the new international order led by China, 
or develop nuclear weapons to intimidate China for self-protection, by then, there will be a new round of nuclear weapons expansion, and the risk of war in the international community will further expand. Based on the above analysis, it is clear that Taiwan has a stake in the U.S. and its importance to the international order. Therefore, slogans such as, if there is something wrong with Taiwan, there will be something wrong with the world, and abandoning Taiwan will cause global unrest, are by no means exaggerated slogans, but pragmatic warnings. Therefore, if China really misjudges the situation and risks sending troops to the Taiwan Strait, it will definitely encounter resistance from coalition forces from the U.S., Japan and other countries, this is because defending Taiwan is not only a moral issue, but also an issue related to the interests of all countries. U.S. President Biden has publicly stated four times that he will intervene to defend Taiwan. U.S. Secretary of State Blinken also recently emphasized again that if China invades Taiwan, the global economy will be plunged into crisis, calling on all countries to pay attention to security across the Taiwan Strait. British Foreign Secretary Covey recently also warned that if Beijing launches a war in the Taiwan Strait, it will not only cause disaster to the global economy, but also lead to the collapse of China's itself. Tang Hao analyzed that if Xi Jinping sends troops to the Taiwan Strait, he will inevitably encounter armed resistance and economic sanctions from all countries in the world. After all, when Mao Zedong attacked India and the Soviet Union, these countries did not involve the interests of other countries. However, Taiwan is now inextricably linked to global trade, semiconductors, regional security, international order, etc. In short, if Xi Jinping takes the risk of invading Taiwan in order to strengthen domestic control and consolidate his power, he is likely to lose his own regime, leading to the collapse of Communist Party, this is where Xi Jinping needs to think twice. Don't forget to comment in the section below to share your opinions on today's topic with us, make sure to like and subscribe to see more interesting topics from Understand China, and thank you for tuning in.